Freedom of speech is in danger. The governments of the world are denying many people the possibility to communicate with each other, to share their thoughts, and to generally message each other over the internet. During the Arab Spring, the people of Egypt, Libya, Syria, and others were blocked from using Facebook and other internet services used in their daily communication. Even today, the internet is controlled in many countries. People are not able to communicate as they wish. Earlier this year, in China, a huge amount of people suddenly lost their internet connection. It was believed that the government was testing a switch to shut down the internet. Current services on the internet are usually centralized. Therefore, it is easy to block the communication and prevent the usage of these services. Imagine a world where all people can freely and reliably communicate with each other without the fear of censorship or loss of privacy. Since the centralized systems are easy to block, to ensure communication, we need to do things differently. Tiny Circle is a peer-to-peer -peer messaging application using dynamic distributed architecture to make sure messages can be delivered despite network conditions. With Tiny Circle, the messages travel through the devices of other Tiny Circle users, not through fixed routes. The users of Tiny Circle are only identified by a random identifier in order to keep their identity private and the messages are encrypted to ensure only the correct recipient can read them. Tiny Circle is a Windows Phone application. The user interface follows the Metro guidelines and is aligned with the style of Windows phone messaging applications by emphasizing simplicity and ease of use. The main screen shows the status of the application. Information about connections with local devices and with the Azure server on the internet. The social screen contains the list of friends, the list of groups the user is part of, and the list of message tags the user has subscribed to. A group can be private, so you have to be invited by the originator of the group, or it can be public so you can subscribe to the messages sent to it. Tiny Circle has three types of messages. Chouts are broadcast messages sent to all local users. Group messages are sent to a group of people. Private messages are sent to a single recipient and no one else can see the message contents. All messages can contain text and an optional picture to go with it. The picture can either be taken with a camera or selected from saved pictures. A broadcast message is a way of communicating with people in the same location. Once a message is sent, all Tiny Circle users in the same local network will receive it immediately. A private message is sent to a specific recipient. The message is encrypted to ensure it remains private. While sending the message, it is first transferred to nearby devices and then to a server if a connection is available. The devices receiving the message will then try to forward the message toward the recipient. The message will travel hop by hop until it reaches the destination. The recipient can receive the message from either another Tiny Circle user or from the server on the internet. There can be several Tiny Circle servers on the internet. One of these servers is an Azure server to which all Tiny Circle users try to connect. Other similar servers can be set up to distribute the system further. On the start screen, one can see a live tile showing the number of unread messages and the contents of the latest message, even without the need to start the application. When Tiny Circle is not active, but the user has an internet connection, a toast message informing the user of a new message is sent. The user can then start Tiny Circle to retrieve the message from the server and read it. We have revolutionized phone messaging by creating a distributed messaging system to communicate, even in challenging networking scenarios. Message delivery does not rely on centralized architecture, but on other Tiny Circle users. Tiny Circle is not just an application, it's a technology. Tiny Circle, keeping the speech free since 2012.